In this video, I'm going to plan out a week on one page in my Erin Condren monthly planner using one of the regular aligned notes pages. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kristen. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week, usually in my Erin Condren monthly planner. Since the beginning of the year, I have been using the plain aligned notes pages to make a week on one page layout. Um, I've been doing that for the whole year so far. We are at the end of April, the last week in April. I think only one time I combined two weeks onto one page just because we were on vacation. Um, so this is working out really well. I always still have notes pages left over to use for other things like tracking things or just taking random notes. I also do my monthly review and my goal planning in here. Um, this planner has been such a workhorse for me and um, I love it and I just, you know, today, if you are watching this the day it goes live, today is the Erin Condren weekly life planner and daily life planner launch. And it's so tempting um, to switch into a weekly planner, but I just, I know that I don't need it for my basic tasks. So I'm gonna stay in this monthly planner. I, my goal was to stay in it all year, but to be honest, I don't know. Just because I do review stuff for Erin Condren, it really is kind of hard to stay in the same planner. Um, I do plan to stay in the, the monthly planner until at least the new monthly planners launch. I don't know, we'll see how my mind cha changes when that happens. For now, I think we are good to do my basic weekly like tasks and stuff like that in still staying in this planner. Um, I am considering using um, a vertical planner to do some memory planning because I just really want to. <laughs> we'll get to that when th I get there. Um, you'll see videos about it if I do decide to go that route and that's just a little hint about what might be coming in the future. Okay, so I have here a book. This is actually a Planner Kate sticker album that I took apart all of my, I have an In Bloom sticker book from Erin Condren and I also have the Functional sticker book. Um, and it's all mixed together. So like these are In Bloom. I think these came from the Functional book. The colors match, so I keep them together. I wanna use some of these today and then I went to the Erin Condren store in Austin over the weekend or this past week um, there was an event for Erin Condren Affiliates. I attended because I live in Houston and it was an easy drive. Um, and I had never been to the Erin Condren store before. So I went in there and um, I'm gonna have a vlog about that and um, a little mini haul to show you what I picked up from the store, but this is one of the items. I never did purchase these writing tools variety packs when they first started them. Um, but I did get one in my Inspire box for the new life planners, and I thought they were so nice. So when I was at the store, I picked up the In Bloom colorway because the colors are just so soft and they just look like my kind of colors for highlighters. So I wanna use these and I wanna use the matching stickers. And that's what we're gonna do. So I think we need to check out the monthly spread so I can figure out exactly what is going on this week. Um, we are planning for week 17, which um, I have a note here for Monday, which is today that it is the Erin Condren launch day if you are an Erin Condren insider and you want a new life planner, um, today you can get it. Um, if you're not an insider, I do have a link in my description for you to sign up. Um, if you purchase a life planner, um, you will get two free gifts with your purchase um, if you are an insider. So um, I don't know. I know that that is while supplies last. I don't know if that's like a Monday only thing. It probably will be just because of supply. I don't know. Um, check out the website for details, but um, they're very cute little gifts. So I also need to pay my son's tennis. He has star testing, which is our state um, standardized test for the state of Texas. He's got that on Wednesday and Thursday. I have a lash appointment on Thursday. I want to have a Minecraft gaming night on Friday, and then we've got Formula One over the weekend. So um, we've got some things going on, so I think I am going to 
probably do this same layout here. I feel like this is like a Hobonichi Weeks kind of thing where I'm taking the two pages of a Hobonichi Weeks spread and just kind of combining them into one. So I've got like the whole weekly, weekly overview here and then like the to-do list section here that's been working and I don't see really any reason to not use that for this week. Um, and since I do have some specific things happening on specific days, it does make sense to go ahead and um, do it that way. And I guess the other thing I need to consider is I don't know if there's any washi in here. So I'm gonna flip through this just real quick and see, yes, so we have some washi options there and ooh, I like those flowers. Maybe we'll use those gold flowers as some deco after we're done. Um, okay, so our washi, oh, there's some silver ones too. So washi, let's go with these blue tones because I really do like, I love blue. So this came from the functional sticker book. And let's put this, this one here. It's just um, like a solid blue with a gold, like a pinstripe. Let's just put this across the top. And it's a little too long, but that's okay. Actually, I didn't get all the way over to the edge. Let me turn my book around and that will help me. And then I think I should have a week number back there. Do I have, I will use this, I think. That didn't rip too clean, but that's okay. Okay, so washi is down and do I have a week 17 left on here? I do. This is a Planner Kate week, week number sheet. It's STK 108. And let's use a label. I like to layer these on a label just to make it look a little more, you know, a little more. <laughs> um, there's a plain one. Ooh, there's a little to-do um, header I need to remember. There's some more here in different colors. I could use one of these. And then I'd be mixing metals, which is nice because then I don't have to worry about which one matches. All right, let's do that. Let's do one of these. And I kind of want to mix the colors. I want to mix the metals. I just want to use all the stuff and I don't want to be limited to, you know, which color matches. Week 17. I could be using my tweezers so that I can see what I'm doing here, but I didn't, so. Okay, week 17. Now I'm gonna draw the grid and, oh, I did get my micron out. I like to use the micron to draw out any kind of like grid or background because that's not gonna smear if I highlight over top of it. And all I do is I just draw a line straight down the side where the lines start. And then I measure out about three inches. Um, and then I, measure, I do another line and then I connect the lines horizontally every four of the lines printed on the page. And then that will give me even spacing for all seven days of the week. And actually, I'm gonna switch to a shorter straight edge here just because it makes it a little bit easier. I had the best time going to Austin and meeting other affiliates and meeting some of the people on the Aaron Condren team. We got to tour 
the production facility and it was so cool. It was like a dream come true if you are like, if you love the brand as much as I do. Um, it's just so neat. Like I've been on other tours and this one is right up there with like the best ones. Um, I've been to the Ferrari production facility in Maranello, Italy. Um, also the Lamborghini one. Um, and those were some of the coolest tours I've ever been on. Um, but I think just kind of having a more personal connection to the Erin Condren facility made it just that much more interesting. I'm gonna talk all about this in the vlog. I just, it's still just on my mind how cool it was. Um, I've got plenty of footage to show you. I know you couldn't be there, but um, you'll probably enjoy, um, you'll probably enjoy the vlog if you're interested in what happened on the tour. Okay, so now I want to put the dates in over here. And I was thinking I could use just some little icons or something, but I'm actually going to take a lesson from myself and not overdo it with the stickers because I always end up saying, I wish I didn't use that many stickers. So let's get the trusty, I'm gonna use the fine point again. Um, oh, how about this? How about we highlight for the date? Um, and then I'm gonna do the date down the side. So actually let me draw one more line. I liked it how I did that um, before. So let me just measure out a quarter of an inch because that seems to be about enough, enough space for me to write. Okay. And then I will draw this line down. I, um, I'm recovering from the trip. My husband and I actually made it like a little vacation um, because I was asking him if he could be home anyways so that I could go to Austin. And then we thought about, well, maybe we can ask my mom if she's available to hang out with my son um, while we go. And she was, and so it worked out really great. And so he, um, my husband took a few days off of work and we went to Austin. We did the weekend there. Well, we did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and came home Wednesday. And um, I spent most of the day Tuesday doing Aaron Condren stuff, but it was just, it was so good. I was like, it was a really great trip. And anyhow, I am, I am recovering now. I have learned that I need to, um, you know, like take some time to recover from stuff like this instead of just thinking I can just go right back into it. Um, yeah, so I am learning that. I am trying to take it slow, even though I know I have a whole bunch of content I wanna film so that I can stay caught up. And um, I'm trying to have grace with myself, <laughs> but also trying to stay, you know, focused on the goals that I have set for myself to stay consistent with my content. Oh, that's cute. It's like a pink. I'm not doing all six colors because we have seven days. Um, so I'm gonna do four colors and then that way I can repeat most of the colors. Um, so I'm, I wanna get this filmed because this is the first video that needs to get filmed and up in time. And then um, I might wait and film the rest tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see what I... Um, how I feel. Sometimes I feel like, okay, I have the energy and the motivation to do something and so I should do it when I have that motivation. But then I also feel like that's what leads to my burnout sometimes is that I go hard because I think um, I have the energy now so I should instead of kind of like budgeting it, you know? Like, oops, I didn't push this down all the way. Instead of budgeting my time and energy like in a more, I don't know, responsible way. Um, I just kind of go, 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 and then, and then I use it all up, and then I don't have any leftover for later. I don't know, that's a, that's a learning process as well, is like learning when to rest, even if I don't feel like I need to rest. 
And that doesn't, that doesn't mean just like physical things, but like, I don't know about you, but like I need mental rest as well. Um, and I don't really take that seriously enough, I don't think. Um, and it's something that I'm having to like consciously make that effort to do. So, okay. I think this is working out pretty good. I just need to add more like of the purple and the pink color stickers maybe if I'm adding any more stickers. So hopefully there's a to-do header that has this um, pink color. So those are really nice. This sage green is really nice. Um, all right, so let's write in the days and the dates. So this is Monday the 24th, Tuesday the 25th, Wednesday the 26th, Thursday the 27th, Friday the 28th, Saturday the 29th, and we have Sunday the 30th and that is our last week in April and then it'll be May and May is the last month of school for us it's like I'm gonna have to say that obligatory phrase that all of us planner people say I can't believe the year is almost halfway over <laughs> um, I can't believe time has flown by as much as it has it, why do we why can't we believe that we should it happens every year <laughs> it's just something we always say um, okay, so now let's add in the to-dos, which I have this one. And let's use, so I've got like a, a reddish, like a mauve, and then like a peachish kind of color. And none of those match. I was hoping it was going to be on this like purple color. I don't think we have any more. Um... Those will say payday. Those will say weekend and vacation. Man, Erin Condren really expects us to be taking lots of vacations. I swear, every one of these sticker packs has so many sticker sheets that say vacation on them. I don't know about you, but we are, I feel like we do kind of take a few extra trips than some people, but I don't feel like we, are just jet setting all the time. Um, we don't, we kind of budget for trips more than other types of activities. And so that's why that works for us, but we're not like going on like full vacations <laughs> like all the time for the amount of stickers that I have from Erin Condren that say vacation on them. I thought we had some more stickers that said to do on them. I really did. Okay, well, we'll just use those ones that I already put back wherever I put them. Oh, they're underneath. Okay. I'll use this one. And now we have all three metals because this is platinum, that's rose gold, and that's gold. So perfect to do. All right. Um, now, as far as the schedule, we want to add all the things, right? Of course, we need like an asterisk or something for um, Insider Launch Day. Those are cute, but they're a little big. Let me see if we have another one. Um, oh, these ones. These ones are smaller. Or I'll just use one of these. I think that's better. What color have we not used yet? This, this purple? Purple. So Erin Condren Insider Launch Day, and then I'll add the tennis. So on my calendar, I have a note to pay for tennis. I'll add that to the to-do list so I can check it off. So, um, ECLP because it's the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, and then I'm just going to write Insider Launch. 
And if you're still hanging with me with all of this Erin Condren like launch week coverage, I know it's been a lot. Um, this is just the biggest week um, for affiliates, you know? So it's gonna be a lot. And if you follow a lot of people in the planner community that share Erin Condren, you know, products and reviews and such, there's just gonna be a lot, a lot of Erin Condren launch information in your feed. Just hang in there another, you know, week or so, and that should start dying down a little bit, um, and it won't be so overwhelming and over the top. If you are purchasing a new life planner during this launch, tell me which one. Um, or did you purchase your life planner um, you know, from January to December and you're gonna keep using your same one through the end of the year, which I totally support and it's a smart move. Um, and I, you know, it, for, for people like us, that's one thing that I think it's important to remember. For content creators, for people that are making like planner reviews and planner content, um, many of us are receiving product to show you um, you know, for marketing for these companies. And I'm not just talking about Erin Condren, but there's like Moxie Life and Laurel Denise and Plum Paper. Well, I don't know if Plum Paper has an affiliate thing. I, I actually don't think they do. I'm not sure. But anyway, like everybody, there's lots of planner launches going on right now. And we're receiving these planners to show you. And that doesn't mean that everybody needs like 16 planners just because it seems like, you know, we have tons of planners. So just keep that in mind too. Um, that's why I wanted to stick with the one planner for the whole year because this really does help me and I don't want to like planner hop because that does not help me. Other people can do it and it's fine. And that's no shade on people that do planner hop because I mean, if I could do it, I would use all the planners too. I love planners. Um, I just can't. And so anyway, that was a, wrong, a long ramble to say like, it seems like there's a lot of product, but that doesn't mean you need to have all that product, you know? Just take it easy. If you don't need a new planner right now, just, you know, enjoy the extra bonus videos or skip over them if that's not your thing. And then shop for a planner when yours runs out. That's totally cool and fine and encouraged, really, um, because you need to feel like you get the value out of the planner that you chose you know, six months ago. Um, you need to feel like that was worth your time and energy and money, right? And so definitely want you to be happy with the planner that you already chose. What else do we have? Oh, I was gonna write that I need to pay for tennis. Um, and I think this is the last time I'm paying for tennis until the new school year starts up in August, I think. And then what else is next? So we have star testing, lash appointment. So these ones are, no, Wednesday and Thursday are star testing. And I don't think I have anything school related in here. And I did not bring over the other sticker book because I wanted to use this one. I could just use more asterisks. <laughs> the other's hearts, but I don't really feel like hearts are appropriate for star testing. <laughs> um, there, if there were stars, that would be cool. There are asterisks. Um, I'm gonna use the same dot asterisks that I've already used. I'll just have to leave this page out because I keep putting it back away and then I keep pulling it back out again. So I wanna use, let's use like a blush one and um, this like pale teal here. So these days are important because I can't, like if I decided to bring my kid lunch or something, like I can't do that. Like they don't want anyone at the school. That's like, they're trying to make it nice and quiet and distraction free. Don't pick up your kid early, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So um, I just need to remember that um, as I'm scheduling like orthodontist appointments and stuff like that. And then I also just need to make sure he eats breakfast. Sometimes he'll just eat like a little nibbly, kind of like a piece of toast and not even finish it. I'm, I basically need to make sure he eats breakfast that day. And if he chooses to bring his lunch that day, I need to make sure he packs himself a good lunch. 
I usually kind of leave him alone with that because he is almost 13. He's perfectly capable of doing his own thing. Um, and I want him to learn from his own mistakes. Like if he doesn't pack a good enough lunch and then he doesn't end up eating it or something or, or he doesn't ha end up having enough lunch, that's like on him. Like he's only going to learn if he makes that mistake. Maybe that's mean, but um, he still loves me and he's still alive. So we're good there. And I don't know which of his tests is on which day. They didn't tell us that. So I am just gonna put star testing. There's a lot of rambling in this video that may or may not get cut out. <laughs> okay, and then I have a lash appointment this day at 10.30, right? Am I remembering that right? Yes, 10.30. And do I have an appointment label? I don't need an appointment label. It's just that I have so many stickers in it. This, like, sometimes I'm just like, I need to use what I have, you know? That one's for like, if you have a lot of stuff in one day. And these are all just plain labels I could totally write on. But since they're plain, I do kind of like to keep the plain things to use for anything. That's an appointment label. Maybe I'll use one of those. Okay. And let's do blue. And this spot is so small. I don't, can I write there? Can I fit the whole 1030 in that spot? Pretty close. Lashes. Okay. Tuesday and Friday are filming. And I'm just gonna write those in so that we're not overdoing it with the stickers. Um, And then Wednesday is editing. Oh, there's a cute bird outside. It's super cute. It's a um, cardinal, but it's a female because it's not red, but it looks exactly like a red cardinal, but it's like brown. Anyway, this isn't bird watching YouTube. I don't know why he would care about the bird outside my window. Um, editing day and then Friday is like a full content day of film, edit, upload, and I'm going to do a Minecraft gaming night that night and then we have Formula One. So I'm going to put the Minecraft thing at the bottom and let's just use a fun I wanted to use the stickers. No. I'm gonna use the gold floral stickers. So I'm gonna leave the other florals off. So let's just write it, okay. Okay, we just had a little interruption that you didn't even notice, but um, okay, let's get back on it. I am writing in the Formula One race, which is, sprint race this weekend and that actually I think that has changed I know that they recently said they were changing the sprint race situation so I know on okay so on the 29th is the sprint and not the qualifying so on Friday at 8 a.m. my time we are doing quali. I should say 8 a.m. here. I should have written 8 a.m. first, but whatever. Okay, and then Saturday is the sprint at 8.30. I'm not gonna watch these live, so it doesn't really matter what time it is. I prefer to watch them live, but um, when my husband's not in town, we like to watch them together, like over the phone, so um, I wait until we're both available. 
So the sprint is at 8.30 a.m. And then the Grand Prix is at 6 a.m. To Azerbaijan, I'm gonna actually write that out. Azerbaijan Grand Prix, 6 a.m. And I will get groceries delivered this day and that will be 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the window. And on Sunday, I'll do food prep. Depending on how I feel and what time the groceries get there on Saturday, I kind of start doing the food prep that day. So our typical to-do items are ordering groceries, and I did pack for Austin that day. <laughs> um, I did do these things. And then my mom didn't want that. I didn't do any of that. These I did. So I am not going to do the habit tracker because, you know, as we know, I'm not a habit tracker. I tried it. It was just not, uh, it doesn't do anything for me. And I am a broken record when I say that. Um, I want to try it. I want to keep trying doing it in different ways to see if it fits or sticks or whatever, but that's okay. Laundry. Um, Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to finish painting upstairs. If, yeah. Okay, that is it. <laughs> Let's put some deco in. Um, my little interruption there while I was filming, I'm, now I'm kind of like not in filming mode <laughs> or thinking about filming mode. So it's just kind of, sorry if that was just like a, a weird energy change or something like that. Um, okay, so let's get some of these really cute. These are those washi tape stickers or like they're washi. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to cover where I put check marks. So let's put like this down here because I'm not going to get all the way down here with to do's. <laughs> Please no. These are such, I wish there were like whole um, sticker books of just this kind of washi sticker. I love them, they're so good. They just like melt right into the paper, you know? And this one I kind of took off the edge a little bit, so I'm gonna just cut those pieces off. And then um, I think I'm just gonna add like one or two more and then we will be done with this nice calming, this colorway is really nice. Like it's just a calming, like, you know, it's good. Let's do this one and let's put that. Can we fit that over here? No, that's too big for that. Up here at the top. And then I can cut the top, the edge off over here. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that washi peeking through it or you know, the blue washi peeking through the, um, with the flower, like behind that flower, but that's okay. Um, this isn't that big. I'm just gonna stick this somewhere, like down here. It's probably not even gonna be noticeable, but that's the start of the weekly spread for next week. And um, stay tuned for a really fun um, vlog style video um, with our trip to Austin. And of course, the Erin Condren production facility tour and preview day and really just like all the goodness. 
Um, I tried to get as much as I could so it would feel like you, you know, saw all the highlights and everything. Um, so you didn't feel like you missed anything. So hopefully, I haven't edited it yet. I'm working on that. Um, Hopefully it turns out really good and is interesting and um, I'm not a great vlogger, I'm new at it. Um, I would like, it's something I wanna keep trying. Um, so yeah, um, please watch it and let me know what you think when that is ready. And um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.